The real Annie Oakley was born Phoebe Ann Moses on August 13, 1860, the sixth of seven children on a farm outside Greenville in Dark County, Ohio. Though she grew up poor and lacked a formal education, she distinguished herself early. While her sisters played with rag dolls, Annie, an admitted tomboy, took to the nearby woods. There, she watched her father, Jacob, hunt and trap animals. Eager to shoot, she coveted his Kentucky rifle that hung just out of reach over the fireplace. One day, when she grew up, she hoped to shoot with it herself. Tragically, that day came sooner than Annie expected. One morning in the winter of 1865, a blizzard struck while her father took grain to a local mill. He did not return home until midnight. His hands frozen, his voice gone. He never recovered and died the following year. Annie's mother, Susan, had to sell the family farm and the pet cow just to pay the medical and funeral bills. Annie stepped in, and she saved the family. They were hungry. Rather than be hungry, what are you going to do? If you have a talent like hers, you make use of it just as fast as you can, and she did. Eight-year-old Annie took it upon herself to provide food for her family, who now leased a smaller farm. She reached for her father's Kentucky rifle, rested the barrel on a porch railing, and shot her first small game, a squirrel. She always considered it one of the best shots she ever made. I guess the love of a gun, she recalled, must have been born in me.